pop scene in Cape Town is loud and proud. Oh yeah, man, hip hop is, is, is life. It transcends just beats and moves. It's woven into the fabric of a diverse culture. We try not to be too influenced by trends and try to take inspiration and pride in our like, local culture and heritage. Hip hop has its own style and Anthony Smith has a foothold in the unique streetwear market. His fashion brand, Tobop, was inspired by a childhood escape, the community corner shop. Well, I grew up being obsessed with video games and a tubop is our slang for a 20 cent piece, which is the coin that we used to play the old arcade games at the corner store back in the day. So when I started the label, the main focus was old school video games and also the culture around the corner store. I grew up in the tail end of apartheid and then sort of the early days of democracy. And in our neighborhoods, we didn't really have um, that many public spaces or uh, facilities for kids. So people would sort of congregate at the local corner store and you'd, yeah, you'd make friends there and just hang out, play video games, which was my favorite thing as a kid. So. His retail store has a concept design factory in the back. So it all, all sort of happens under one roof. And that's a big part of our identity as a brand is that we want we will only manufacture locally as we've bolted ourselves from the ground up. So I think there's that resonance and that respect. Anthony's line is also motivated by skateboarding. And like other expressionists in the hip hop scene, he got his first taste from the place where hip hop was formed. I grew up skateboarding in the 90s and I was influenced quite heavily by the American skateboard scene. Even though we don't claim to be a skateboard brand, I think skaters do identify it. We use local slang, like we try to do it in a subtle way, so if you do notice it, like you'll be like, okay, wow, that, I didn't expect to see, you know, my own language like represented like on a garment. So it's just about like tipping our hats to our own culture and our own language. Cape Town rapper Youngster's most celebrated track, Salutas, does exactly that. He also understands the power of the language in this genre of self-identification. I'm a huge fan of Youngster. He just has style and charisma and I think he's just quintessentially Cape Town. I mean, we give youngster clothes, like, happy to give him clothes. <laughs> Anthony also dresses Cape Town skateboarder Shuei Philander, who is as happy modelling for Tubop as he is helping kids learn how to master the board. Skateboarding is another part of the hip-hop culture in the Cape Flats and Shue runs a group called 20 Skate. 20 Skate is a collective of, of guys um, who's based in different locations in Cape Town who all came together to form this collective to, to take kids away from gangsterism and drugs. To me, skateboarding is life, you know, and when you try and progress at skateboarding, your level of thought progresses as well. So we use skateboarding as a metaphorical vehicle to take people's mindsets out into consciousness. Cape Town has built 19 skate parks in the city in the last 10 years. Many in disadvantaged areas like here in Valhalla Park on the Cape Flats. Day-to-day -day life in, in the Cape Flats is very hard, you know. People still hungry, people still not housed. The necessities that the human being needs on a day-to-day -day basis isn't being provided for them. So they're forced to stay in these streets and work these streets. What makes the ghetto the ghetto is that, that if successful people leave the ghetto, we need to come back to our ghettos and, and, and economically empower them so that they can make moves. Yeah. It's people like Shuebe that keep the skateboarding culture alive and another way to give a voice to communities that were decades ago forced out of their homes by apartheid. 
accessibility to information and knowledge is what we're trying to pass on because that's how we empower people. So making them aware that the situation that they don't have to be constrained in it or stay in it. It's a really a strong community of skateboarders. If ever somebody is in need, we're always like willing to help some like people out. Shuabe has deep friendships with many of Cape Town's hip hop heroes. Break dancing crew Sushi Power, rapper Youngster, and clothing designer Anthony Smith. They all promote each other's work and share a storied bond. I feel very, very connected to Cape Town hip hop culture. We're one big family, one big urban street culture movement. Hip hop is indelibly leaving an impression all over Cape Town. <laughs> dancing to a new beat of hope for the next generation. And belting out a soundtrack of self-expression.